Hey guys, welcome back to day 42 of 119 days of link building. I'm your host Deepak Shukla, brought to you by Pearl Lemon. We're an SEO agency based in London, but serving clients worldwide. And feel free to click the link below to get an additional 17 strategies that are not shared in this training. So uh, becoming, becoming an influencer link building, I mean, to be honest with you, this is uh, really a case of you growing your own personal brand authority. So there are a plethora of ways that you can do that, but it's a journey, it's a process. And what happens once you reach a certain level of accomplishment, that becomes a tipping point where you can probably just put out statuses saying, looking to jump onto some more podcasts, who would, um, you know, who would like to have me on looking to be part of you know, some, 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 you know, guest posts or whatever it may be. And by the sheer weight of your name, you can ultimately generate more links. Um, ways that you could do that practically, just as I described across your social network saying, looking to do a little bit of PR, who's interested in having me on as a guest, let me know, comment below. And then you might just get, you know, multiple people saying, yep, me, yep, me, yep, me. And of course, you can analyze the opportunity cost one by one in terms of the extent of their audience, whether they can give you a do follow link and anything else that you deem relevant. Alongside other things such as putting out some DMs to people that you know, and really it's the it's it's the social thing because thunder, or theoretically through your network, there should be a bunch of people that are producing content and or who can connect me with would be the second status update saying looking to jump on a bunch of podcasts and press who can connect me with xyz and then as a consequence of those connections you can go again on a press run so the journey to getting there i mean to be honest with you the interesting thing with this is that you have nothing to lose even if you try it in absence of having an audience and you know becoming an influencer i mean ironically one of the de ways that you could do this, a quicker way is to, if you have got some level of expertise in a certain space and you can confidently and competently demonstrate that over a phone call, then you don't need to wait. I mean, why wait if you can ultimately already become an influencer by saying, guys, I've been working in the crypto space for five years, have got XYZ return, would love to jump on a pod couple of podcasts to offer some insights into you know, how I make that happen. So we're going to actually probably talk about that a little bit more in terms of, you know, um, success story link building, but becoming an influencer link building is fundamentally you gaining some repute through your social networks, anything else, and then ultimately using that as leverage to get access to more audiences. And you can really really um use this in in quite a powerful way and it becomes a bit of a self uh, a, a bit of a flywheel because the more that you do the more recognition that you get and the more recognition that you get the easier it will d be to do more so becoming an influencer is, is something that definitely you should look into and ironically you can even do it if you've got an audience of one because we'll talk about that in the next following video about how you can do um, or gain links in absence of having any audience at all. But become an influencer link building, the BAI approach, the Bay, Bay link building um, is, is definitely a way to go if you've already got um, some, 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 some level of social network built or audience somewhere of some kind. Uh, that could also be an email list as an example. So there's all manner of things that that could um, refer to. All right, cheers guys, catch you in the next one.